Hi guys, it's Sarah from Book Nerds and Fangirls, and today I am coming to you with an original tag. Since it is so close to St. Patrick's Day, you know, the day that's known for drinking and wearing green. Green, yeah, you know what day I'm talking about? Yeah. So I decided to make the hard liquor book tag. Book tab. I've assembled seven to eight questions. I was typing a lot, so I didn't. Yes. I assembled one of seven questions here, basically made of all the hard liquors, or the most common hard liquors, and I assembled some questions. So if you want to do this tag, feel free to. Free to. I made it for everyone. Okay, so question one, vodka. Name a book that was hard for you to get through or finish. And for me, I'm going with a recent one, and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I really didn't like Selena in this book. I found her rather tedious and obnoxious. And it was because of her and not anyone else. That made me not want to finish this book, but I still tunged through it, and I still got to the end, and that was my favorite part, because I didn't have to read it anymore. So, this one, this one. Okay, so question two is whiskey, a book that you read to cheer you up when you're feeling down. And for this one, I picked Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. Vampire Academy is always my go-to and I love it so much. And I'll keep on putting in book tags. No matter what. Question three. Rum. A strange or quirky character that you can't help but love. And this one is surprising to me because at first I didn't like him. But that is Adrian from the Vampire Academy and Bloodline series. I just love his jokes. And he's just so funny. And it's just... Ah. Question four, Jin, a book that you still find irresistible even after all these years, and that is Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. Shadow Kiss was my original book hangover, and I loved it so much. Just, I just love this book, and it'll always be my favorite book. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it no matter what. <clears throat> Number five is tequila. Name a fictional character you would love to party with. And even though this isn't a book, well, technically it's a book, but I didn't, I've read the first two books, didn't feel interested. But a fictional character that I would love to party with is Damon Salvatore, because he just seems like he's balls of fun, he loves to dance, he just, he's such an awesome character, and don't meant. Made me mention the one-liners that this guy could pull out of his ass at any time. I just love it so much. And, yeah, I loved a part of him. Brandy, a bittersweet book. Book. And this one, for this one, I have three. I have The Thirteenth Prophecy by H.M. Ward. I have Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead. And The Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead, because all these were series enders to book series that I love. And I still have a bittersweet feeling, like I knew it had to come to an end, but I didn't want it to. So, last question, question number seven. Seven? Seven, yay! Is Four Horsemen, a book that gave you a major book hangover? And for this one, I chose An Ember in the Ashes by Sabaja here. Even after, I think it was three months ago that I finished this book. Three or four. Even after three to four months, I still have a book hanger, hangover from this baby right here. I still remember every detail. I'm still hung up on this book. I want a torch against the night so bad right now. And it's just, ah... Uh, but there you guys have it. That was the Hard Looker book tag. I Like I said before, I tag everyone. Everyone's free to do it. Do it, and I hope you guys have a happy St. Patrick's Day.